Hi, I've never done a review before. Um, hi, I've never done a review before. Um, I've got fibromyalgia and I've also got uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, which um, combined is, is also known as ME. Um, and I have severe, severe chronic pain every day um, where usually every day I wake up and it feels like my flesh is burning um, from the uh, inflammation that comes with the illness so it is like having rheumatoid arthritis combined with flu um, combined with chronic fatigue so basically it's a bit like you kind of feel like you're a 85 year old lady um, I use an electric wheelchair if I want to walk further than 10-20 minutes on a good day. Um, on a bad day I'm bedridden in pain and I can't move at all. So that's a little, if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, that's a quick um, synopsis. So um, the reason I've decided to do this video, even though I've never done a review and I've never it's never appealed to me in any way to post a video, um, on a review or about any information for people but I really really felt it was important to post this video because um, I, I've i been in so much pain as everybody who is suffering with chronic illness knows um, you become desperate, depressed, uh, you try every pharmaceutical pill that the doctors give you, um, you know I've overdosed on codeine, um, I've overdosed on naproxen, um, you know, you, you're given gabapentin, uh, ambitriptyline, lots of different drugs, and none of them touch the sides. <laughs> codeine just knocks you out. If you take too much of it, you just end up being um, comatose. Um, and they're awful. They're awful, awful pills, but it's the only solution that you have to try and combat some of the horrific pain um, you know, and I'm going to be totally honest, the, the pain is so overwhelming on a daily basis that I have very often, you know, thought of suicide to just to be able to stop the pain because it is just so overwhelming. And if you imagine that the di your diagnosis is that you're going to have this horrific, very painful um, life, but it's never actually going to end. There's no end. It's not like... Um, a disease or you know it's not like cancer or something where yes it's horrific and you're experiencing pain but um whether you go into remission or or you know or you die there is some end to that pain and to that torment and that torture uh, whereas with fibromyalgia and me the only pain the only solution to the pain is unfortunately is either a fantastic pain management system um to be cured which you never know could happen, might never happen, um, or is to end it all. And, um, you know, there has been times when that has been uh, has the a solution to the overwhelmingness of, of the pain. Um, and I know that a lot of people with fibromyalgia um, who suffer with it as severe as me have, have had the same thoughts. And it's, it is horrific, but you know, you have to try and to understand that, imagine feeling like, you know, if you had a pet dog, and that dog um, could only walk 10 minutes, and then it would collapse in pain, or if it that dog couldn't wash itself, it couldn't, um, you know, it couldn't, some days it was unable to move from its bed, you know, it's not living a full life, and that is what having ME is, if you have it, 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 there's different severities, but um, that is what, what having ME is like. You know, one day you can walk 10, 20 minutes, and that's a good day. And then other days, you can't even lift your head from the pillow. Um, and so this is why, unfortunately, a lot of people with fibromyalgia were absolutely desperate for a solution to the pain. And, um, and that's why I have, unfortunately. You know, as, as sad as it is for my family, um, you know, I have... I have looked at, I have thought about suicide because it's just, nobody would want to live like that. It's like, 
living a dog's life. You know, I mean, it's like living a, you know, you wouldn't want your own pet to live a life like that. Anyway, I'm getting upset now. The reason that I, I felt it was very, very important to do this video is because um, I recently discovered a uh, natural um, form of pain relief that for me personally is r incredible, it is really working for me. Um, please don't get your hopes up if you've got fibromyalgia, ME or you know, severe depression, anxiety and things and headaches and it, this uh, this form of pain relief is also, it, it is also known to, to help um, people with cancer. Uh, if you look at Rick Simpson and lots of other famous cancer patients who use um, cannabis oil. I'm not a scientist and I apologise if I get information wrong and, you know, I more than likely will and um, there'll be lots of people who will, I'm sure bad mouth me and comment and all kind of usual troll shit <laughs> but um I don't care you know th this is if I can give one other person the amount of pain relief that I am now having um from from cannabis oil then go ahead throw them throw the mud at me um I have already written a review a uh, very honest review I'm not affiliated with anyone I have never I don't really even know how that works or <laughs> what it means, but um, I've never, I've never been given a product by anybody. Uh, I've never, I'm not affiliated. What's the other thing? I don't promote anybody. I don't know the technical marketing terms, but I have, I've bought all these products myself. Um, some of them I found to not work, so, uh, and and some of them, the ones that I, I do find work, and I am using. Um, the pain relief that I am getting is it is fantastic um, and so even if it doesn't it, it might not work for you um, it might just be that my body or my illness or whatever it is but it, it might not work for you so I'm not saying if you have fibromyalgia go out and try this tomorrow I'm just saying that you know if you're looking for if you're as desperate as most of us are and you know say you could get somebody to for your birthday or something that's what I did um some of these CBD oils are um expensive and I couldn't afford I'm on disability benefits so I couldn't afford to get them myself um so one of them I got my mother to buy me for a birthday present and um another one um I managed to save up for myself um, so, you know, yes, it might not work for you. If you can gather together fifty pounds, I'd say is probably what you need to try it. Um, and you've, you know, you're not happy with the pharmaceutical pills, or you would like to just try a different avenue and a different form of pain relief that is natural, it is legal. Um, and for me personally, I feel. I'd say about, I, it's hard to put a percentage on it, but the the way that I feel on the current pain management system, relief management system I'm on, is a lot, lot better than, you know, codeine, naproxen, all the, all the generic ones I'm given by the doctor. Um, so, yeah, so this is my... Um, non-biased review I'm not working for any of these companies I have I, you know <laughs> and I know that I will get people thinking that because when I first researched CBD that's exactly what I believe every YouTube video every review I read I did not believe a single person I even contacted people directly from their YouTube reviews from their you know email uh, um website blog reviews I contacted these people directly spoke to them directly as, as you know person to person um a lot of them UK based because when I decided to look into CBD oil I decided I, I only wanted to deal with UK companies um just for sake of ease and money transactions and things 
And um, even after I spoke to people directly, and I would say that, you know, I I kind of trust them to be real people and that I still was sceptical. I still didn't believe that when that CBD oil arrived at my house and I took it, that either it was not going to work or that it wasn't going to work for me. You know, I believe maybe these people have worse... I've got a lot worse severity of fibromyalgia than these people. This is the things I told myself, you know. Um, I believed, well, maybe they're saying that they're not working for, for these companies, but, you know, secretly they all are, you know. And I know I'm going to get people slagging me off because when I wrote about this on my Facebook, because I had a lot of friends who um, also suffer with chronic pain and anxiety and depression, and it's, you know, CBD oil is not just for fibromyalgia, but from the reports that I've read, it specifically is supposed to be good for people with arthritis, fibromyalgia, ME. Um, and in the bottom of this YouTube clip, I'm going to um, put the links to not only all the products that I uh, use and I, pers I personally trust, I do personally trust them because of the reviews I've read. Um, and because when I've taken them, I do feel so much better. So in the in, uh, in this YouTube uh, video clip, um, <laughs> I'm new to this, I am going to post the links of um, not just the products and where you can get them from, but also the, the reviews, you know, uh, reviews of different products on different pages that aren't affiliates. I'm going to post them so that you can see why I trusted, you know, why, why I decided to at least try to buy those over compared to other companies that don't have reviews about them and things like that, that I'm a little bit suspicious that they don't have, I'm not saying they don't have CBD um, in them, I'm just saying that the quality of that CBD, um, you know, if they haven't got lab results and if they haven't got people already reviewing them and trying them outside of their own reviews on their sites, I, I don't trust them. So, um, yeah, um, I'm also going to post links to ex um explanations of CBD and uh, and where the kind of links that made me decide okay yeah this looks like you know scientific information that's, that's really really good um okay so the um where do I begin I'll get some other products to show you what, how I take CBD So there's um, different um, products that you can take um, to ingest or vaporize CBD oil. Um, I'm not going to explain what CBD oil is. It, it's it's science, It's very uh, very quickly. CBD oil um, has no THC in it, which means that yes, you are you are taking cannabis. Um, you are putting cannabis into your body, but you don't get high. Well, you you don't get high, any psycho psychoactive. There's no there's no psychoactive ingredient, so there's no THC. So you don't get paranoid. You know, there's no. Um, if anybody's ever taken cannabis or weed or, you know, uh, got stoned, um, they'll know that you know it can have a lot of nasty side effects. And if you're ill like me the last thing you want is to be um taking something that can make you feel you know for me personally um cannabis would make me more depressed and more paranoid and groggy tired all these things so um cbd is nothing like that it doesn't have the thc um and i'll explain to you what happened when i first took it when i very first took cbd the first two days i did experience a form of a high um, I would say it's more like a rush. Um, you can you feel like there is something inside you that is making you feel very relaxed. Not like codeine, not like where you just want to go to sleep and pass out. It's more like um, just an awareness that you, that you are definitely something is you're you know you're not the same as you were before you smoked it or or um, took it orally. Um, but it's a lovely, very nice feeling. You feel very relaxed, and um, the very the first two days, I did get in a strange way. I did actually get very slight munchies, which was odd because you shouldn't really get munchies with it not having THC. But I did get, I definitely did get the munchies, and I, I um, how can I explain? I remembered 
you know, the feeling of that. Like I knew, I already knew that that was what I was experiencing, experiencing because I've obviously had, you know, I have tried um, normal cannabis, normal cannabis. Um, so I knew I was experiencing the munchies, not to an extreme level and not to the way that you normally do when you take cannabis, um, when you smoke it. It was just like a very mild, it was actually quite enjoyable because it wasn't controlling. Anyway, after the first two days of taking CBD oil, that passed. I didn't get any uh, high feeling. I didn't get any munchy, you know, all the kind of first initial um feelings disappeared um and all I'm left with now because I take it every day a lot I take it all day um and all I experience all I feel now is the pain relief that's it I don't I don't particularly feel like I'm taking drugs I don't feel like I'm getting high I don't get the munchies I don't get any rushes um the only thing that I feel is pain relief that's it um now it's very important that you understand that in my personal experience, um, I it doesn't affect my um, my energy levels, my um, fatigue. So I feel exactly. I'm just as tired as I was before, um, you know, as I as I have been with this illness. So unfortunately, it doesn't really give you extra energy in that sense. Um, and also, when I leave, when I do physical exercise. Like when I try to clean the house, for example, or say um, I go outside with my walking stick and I try and walk, it it doesn't help me with a flare up. So, for example, um, I've been I've t- I've been taking CBD every day, and I feel a lot better. But when I go when I, I went shopping one day, and I went with my arthritic walking stick, and I lasted um, I think about twenty minutes of hobbling of walking you know walking but not fast kind of shuffling around and then I felt the pain started to come the really overwhelming pain and I knew that I wouldn't be able to carry on with that wheelchair so um I uh, was the the local shop supplied wheelchairs so I had to use a wheelchair for the rest of the shopping trip um and you know I it was still okay you know I had my um the, the way one of the ways in which I take CBD oil is through an e-liquid in a vape in a vape pen and one of the great things about that was I could actually um, vape it while I was in the uh, in the shop you know in the garden center and things so that was nice it didn't help with the flare-up yes I felt you know a little bit it wasn't as painful but there's no way I could have walked and the pain so yeah for me personally it doesn't help with the fibro flare-up I've heard reports of people saying that it does help them with a fibro flare-up but uh, but funnily enough they they said that it only helped them w- when they, they only took it when they had a flare-up and they didn't take it on a you know day-to-day obsessive basis like I do um but they probably they I think they did work part-time so they probably have a different not a different type of fibromyalgia but maybe a different kind of um maybe they experience fibromyalgia in a different way um so yeah that's that's just my personal um experience um so yeah the one of the ways in which i take cbd is it's called um it's called cbd oil white edition 500 milligrams um and it's by cbd brothers Um, they have a fantastic facebook page with lots of reviews from from the public and one of the reasons I trust Facebook pages over their own website or, you know, blogs and things is because anybody can create a blog and a website. But for, you know, for a company to to have a Facebook page and then for them to make, say, say they have, you know, CBD Brothers, I think roughly they have something like, I think 3,000 or 4,000 likes. And then they have a lot, you know, hundreds of comments and people saying this has changed their life and saved their life in some cases, you know. Um, for them to have faked all those Facebook people would, I mean, that would be one hell of a market. You know, that would be it'd be very hard to do. Um, so I've got a little bit of my finger here. <laughs> I'm going through it. Um, so that's one of the reasons I trust CBD Brothers was because I check their Facebook, and I'm also very I'm no, notorious with my friends for research for um being a good researcher. So I researched this to death. 
because I didn't want to, you know, you don't want to pay because that that particular product, the white edition, five hundred milligrams. I think that is about um, it's about fifty fifty to sixty pounds, um, and you've seen the size of it. It's small. Um, I think it's how many milligrams is it? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's fifteen milligrams milliliters. Sorry, I'll have to. I'll put the link at the bottom. Um, so I'm hoping that'll last me about a month. I hope. But if not, uh, I'm going to get um, a different, uh, a bigger one. But yeah, obviously, sixty pounds is a lot of money. Um, you know, especially when you're on disability benefits. Um, so what I do with that one is it's a tincture, which means you put um, the drops underneath your tongue. You let it sit for three to four minutes, and then uh, and then you you know you swallow it. And you swallow it. Um, now, three to four drops is um, is the recommended small dose. You can if you've got you know if you've got a very severe injury or whatever you you can get much stronger versions of that you can get you can take more drops there's different ways of you know check it out on the website uh, me personally i started on four drops and then what i did was i take it four in the morning uh four at lunchtime and a four before i go to bed um and um now <laughs> for me the taste is absolutely vile it is disgusting um, sorry, I'm just going to have a little vape. Maybe. Um, yeah, for me, the tincture is, it is vile. Um, when I decided to get into CBD, um, oil and e-liquid, um, I decided to start, I decided, um, that I heard that online I heard that vaping was one of the best ways well I was I read that it that it was the best way to get CBD into your system um, now this isn't scientific it's just hearsay um, it's something to do with the way that the vapor goes into your body I, I can't remember the exact reason why um, but you know I, I read that if you take it as a orally in your mouth um, that when you're digesting lots of things can interact with that and mess with that and you might not get the full effect whereas Again, this is hearsay that vaping is more, it's kind of more instant. Um, so I decided to cover all bases because I was so desperate for pain relief. You know, I was waking up every day and the first, say, four hours, even on a good day, I would just be sobbing in, in agony. I was in absolute, you know, I would be screaming in pain. Um, and... Um, that have, I was like that for a year, uh, two years, I think, um, until until I started taking until my new pain management thing that I'm on now, um, and so I was desperate <laughs> because um, I was just kind of every day I was waking up and feeling like that, and I was just thinking I don't know if I can I I actually don't know if I can live like this, you know, because the pain was just so overwhelming, and I would rather just be put out of my misery, you know. So when I read about CBD oil, I thought even if it doesn't work, it's worth a try, you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, I bought the the tincture, and then um, I read about the vaping CBD e liquid. Um, now I don't know; I'd never vaped before in my life, and um, I smoke. I used to smoke, um, so I smoked not a lot. I smoked around four cigarette uh, about five cigarettes a day um and i uh, actually that was quite a lot because I, I smoked more because i was ill you know and i felt stressed um so i was never a heavy smoker um but i decided that um you know if i was going to vaporize cbd e-liquid i might as well um because there's, there's two ways that you can uh, that, that i could see there's two ways that you could vaporize CBD e-liquid that I personally wanted to go with there was either the MediPen which I'll link to at the bottom or there was um, doing it kind of custom your own way MediPen is like the people who um, it, it comes ready made in, in, in an electronic cigarette um, it has cartridges which you put in and you, and you inhale the um, CBD e-liquid it's very apparently from the reviews that I've read and I do think I, I do trust the people who said them um, but that's my own personal judgment um, it has worked for a lot of people um, but I won't do something if I don't like the look of it and if it doesn't make me feel 
like you know I like things that are um personal and alternative you know I'm a bit of a hippie a bit of a punk so you know when I when I saw the style of them of the Medipens I I hate e-cigarettes so it didn't appeal to me um and then when I looked into the fact that you could actually just get a vape pen and do it in your own style you know have your own style of vape pen which you know you can change the flavors of you it's more customizable to, to do it in a vape pen um but when you're buying the CBD e-liquid depending on which manufacturer you get it from you know it can have different it's a lot more it's a lot more complicated to do it um i would say with a vape pen and because you have to learn about vaping and then on top of that you have to buy the different e-liquids and put in different quantities of CBD so it's more kind of um not scientific but um it's just a lot more customizable and there's a lot more options um but that suited me more because obviously I'm housebound I don't you know I'm not I'm not out at work so I have the time and the freedom to be able to um you know uh, try different um um customizable options anyway so I started off buying um vaporize uh fuse let's see vaporize fuse which is a, a kind of a beginner kit for a vape pen um i absolutely hate e- e- i've tried e-cigarettes before and it just wasn't my cup of tea and it didn't help me quit cigarette smoking at all um so i decided if i was going to do vaping excuse me that i would rather um get a kit that i a bit more uh a bit cool in my eyes a bit cooler so i bought this vaporize fuse kit which i'll put at the bottom as my first ever vape pen and then i bought um just let me get this right yeah then i bought um canna vape um, canna vape cbd e-liquid now this one is quite strong it's 250 milligrams cbd 50 milli- milliliter um bottle and then it's cherry flavor so what you do is you put that directly into your vape pen and then you vaporize that um that was my first experience of vaping of, of cbd e-liquid um, and the reason that i um went with can vape was exactly the same reasons i went with cbd brothers you know i did my research and um the more people on facebook that i saw that said this has been fantastic for their pain relief i decided okay that's pretty hard to disprove pretty hard to fake all those facebook profiles so um, you know, I took the plunge and I bought some, uh, I forget the price now, I think it's 35, 35, 36 pounds, I think, um, which is uh, uh, very expensive for e-liquid, but this isn't just normal e-liquid, you know, this, for me personally, it's almost, I bought, I'm, I'm on the cusp of saying it's changed my life, so it, for me it's not that expensive, um, and you can get different strengths, you know, if I was rich, I'd buy the, this is 250 milligrams, if I was you know, if I was a millionaire, I'd be on the 1,000 milligrams version, um, and I would be chain smoking that all day, <laughs> um, obviously I'm not, so yeah, um, now I'm currently on those two liquids, um, I also did buy um, this, which is CBD oil gold formula, cannabis.com, I actually bought it from Amazon, but it's probably cheaper from the... I find that all these products are a little bit cheaper from the website because I don't know why, but that's what I found. Now, this this is a, a wax, um, and this is... A, a, but it's an edible wax. It's not for vaping. So um, it's the same as the tincture you put under your tongue and everything. Um, I actually bought that by mistake. I thought I was buying the wax for vape to vaporise, and I bought a specific vaporising... a vape... a wax vape pen for that. Um, but as it turns out, that's the edible version, and I've read that it's very, very dangerous, so that you should not vape, vaporize any form of edible oils, including this one. So, um, because you can, it, it, it clogs up your lungs, again, this isn't scientific, but it clogs up your lungs, and you can get pneumonia and die. <laughs> Probably got that wrong, but that's, I'm sure that's what I read. And I have to admit, I by accident, I did vape a little bit of that, and it really, really hurt my lungs, so be you know just be when you're researching cbd oil ask a lot of questions don't just go straight into it um anyway so i bought that vape pen i bought that kind of vape stuff and i had the tincture now the first few days i 
tried these CBD products and vaping. And I was also quitting cigarettes as well at the same, you know, because I, because I was vaping, I thought, well, okay, I might as well, you know, I might as well give up smoking while I'm vaping. Just, I'm not really bothered about smoking, but it just seemed like if I'm going to be vaporising, it's, I, it looks like a really cool thing to do. I'm, I'm quite enjoy the flavour, so why, why smoke, you know? Um, so I quit smoking and obviously the, so the first three days I went through withdrawal symptoms from the nicotine, I had nausea, I had headaches and quite severe ones, you know, it was, it was very uncomfortable. Um, but I persevered with it and I did, I, I would, I would say personally that, um, it wasn't the CBD products that were giving me those side effects, but, um, I have had one of the, I've heard one other person said that they, when they took the Medipen, they felt sick. Whereas another person said it, you know, it was they've come off all the painkillers so people different people have different experiences but I would say that check with your doctor to make sure that it, the, the CBD oil doesn't conf conflict with your the medication that you're on um you know do all your research for, first don't just take my word for it um but yeah for me personally I had nausea I felt sick really sick um I had uh, headaches uh, and uh what was the other one I had um I forgot now but anyway whichever one I said before um, then by the, on the fourth day, that's when all the, my, I didn't get any bad side effects, all my withdrawal symptoms went and suddenly I started feeling a huge difference in my pain relief. Um, very hard to explain, but let me, let me put it to you this way. I chain vape CBD e-liquid. I chain vape it in this, uh, specific pen. I also chain vape it in this, which is a um, it's an Aspire Nautilus. Um, I can't remember mini tank, I think. Uh, and this is was this is actually a, a battery from a um, it's called a V one X vape, which is not actually the battery that comes with it. I I bought um, this that with another kit for the. So I was going to vape the wax and ended up putting them together and it actually it was a really good it's a really good um I don't know what you'd say setup um now I va I chain vape the all day I will smoke the CBD e-liquid I mix it with my other I mix it with my other e-liquids I don't have any nicotine oh the other thing is that um I was told don't don't mix nicotine with CBD e-liquid because it will um, it will kind of counteract the CBD. So, you know, if you're going to vape and you're going to vape with nicotine, that's fine. But when you vape the CBD e-liquid, do not mix nicotine with it because it will just, it will, you've wasted your money. Anyway, I chain vape CBD e-liquid in this and this. I also have really cool pipes as well, which uh, I'm getting really obsessed with vaping. <laughs> um, one of my pipes, because I, I love, I collect old man's pipes. So, for example, just one of the pipes I have is this, um, which looks like a real man's pipe, but actually it's a vape. So. It's a vape pipe. Um, so, and I've got, I've got loads of these pipes, and I'm, I'm, well, I've become very, uh, I've become a real vapor, so... Anyway, I put e-liquid, uh, I put CBD e-liquid in all of my different tanks and things like that, and I chain vape it all day. And um, on average, I now take around two cocodamol a day. Um, you know, I wake up, I take a multivitamin. Oh, um, I don't want to give you false impressions. I'm going to be, so I want to be totally honest. Um... At the same time as trying these CBD products, I also um, went onto a Boutron patch for the first time. Oh, I can't show you, it's on my own. But um, my doctor, for the first time ever, um, I had to beg them. But um, I'd heard that a Boutron, a Boutron patch, which is um, a slow-releasing codeine, I think it's codeine, slow-releasing codeine um, patch, medicinal patch, and you put it on, uh, well, you put it on your body, and it lasts a week, and then you replace it. Uh, you can go for a shower. Um, it's apparently it's a little bit dangerous, and you can have a bath, but you have to be careful if you overheat, obviously, because then it 
um, releases too much codeine. I think it's codeine. I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, so yeah, this the setup that the, the the pain management system that I am on is I'm on a five milligram Bootran patch that lasts a week, and then I am chain va- I, I am vaping CBD e liquid two hundred and fifty milligrams. Um, and I'm also um, taking the tincture three times a day, four drops. And I now wake up and I'm not in pain. I mean, there is pain. When you have fibromyalgia, you know that the pain is always going to be there. It's hard to explain. Uh, but, you know, if you imagine waking up every single day, it feels like you have flu and arthritis. So um, when somebody says, oh, you know, it's not hurting today. <laughs> A normal person to not have pain is something different to fibromyalgia. So, yes, there is still pain there, and you can kind of feel it, but I don't know if CBD oil relaxes your muscles or how it works, but um, I can. it's bearable, you know? The pain is there. Yes, I'm still exhausted when I try and do tasks, day-to-day tasks, um, but... I have more energy, actually, because I'm in less pain, you know, because because the pain isn't overwhelming me, which it usually is, uh, I can do more things, you know, so yes, I'm still have, I still have the chronic fatigue side, and I, and I'm not, I wouldn't be able to go for a a jog, (laughs) or a run or anything, Um, but, you know, I can do my tasks easier, I can, you know, when I go for a shower now, it's not as, it's not as traumatic as before I took CBD, you know, I used to have a shower, before CBD and it would be like going to war you know trying to get dressed was just I can't even begin to explain how painful and how traumatic it is you know and and the worst the worst absolute worst thing worst thing about this illness is that you don't look ill so people think that you're making it up people don't think that it's a real thing um I've had you know my own family and friends they see me and I don't look, I don't look, you know, bruised. <coughs> Sorry, my phone just randomly. I don't look ill, but inside it feels like somebody has literally set my flesh on fire. <laughs> you know, so yeah, it's a lovely illness. Um, and that's why I really don't care if you, if I'm going to get people saying that I'm affiliated with these companies. Um, I don't really understand how I could be affiliated with, you know, I'm going to promote five, six different companies. So if I was affiliated, why would I work for conflicting (laughs) companies? Because this is one of the things that some people have said to me that I'm, um, when I've tried to explain to my, you know, on Facebook, this is really fantastic. You know, they, people have said, oh, you're, you're fake, you know, I'm a scam. Um, and I was like, well, how can I, how can I, be scamming how can I promote conflict you know conflicting companies does it make sense um so f- for example um I'm going to I've been I'm on Canavape at the moment um but I'm going to try my next e- e-liquid I've I've uh, got an order is um it's called CBD gold um I'll put the link at the bottom um, because the only thing that's frustrating with Canavape, although I love that, you know, I'm totally in love with the product and the company. And also I have to say their, um, customer service is fantastic. Really, really good. Um, I feel like I'm almost on first name terms with them. You know, I ask, I'm constantly messaging them. Um, but the only problem is, is that they're so popular that they're, they're natural hemp fla- because when, um, when I bought this cherry flavor, I chain vape so much that I get what's called vapor's tongue, where because you're chain vaping all day, your num- your tongue becomes numb from over vaping, uh, because vaping can be quite dehydrating. So you need to drink a lot of water if you only if you're vaping a hell of a lot. You know I'm housebound, so I'm not at work. So obviously I can I can chain vape all day every day, and um, which is why I think I got I get a little bit dehydrated with it. Um, but also because I'm getting so much pain relief, you can imagine how excited I am. So I'm like, you know, constantly chain vaping. Um, so that was the only problem. I can't afford to buy. They have lots of nice flavors to choose from, but I can't afford to buy all the different flavors because it's, um, you know, like I said, each bottle is quite expensive. 
where why I like CBD gold or why I'm going to be trying them next is because they have um, a 10 milliliter bottle of flavorless mixer now don't get me wrong these do do that as well but it's always well it's been out of stock for quite a while so um, you know that's why I'm going to try CBD um, gold um, and again I checked their Facebook and I made sure they had good reviews um, so I'm going to put the link at the bottom um, I did buy one other CBD e-liquid from Amazon and I'm not saying that it doesn't work or that it's a scam but I can't be 100% sure it's working and I don't trust that it, it is doing as, this, as well as as good to me as kind of ape. Um, it's hard to it's very hard to explain until you try it yourself but my personal view would be that if you see something on Amazon or eBay it's don't trust uh, I mean don't trust it off the bat of reading it from Amazon reviews because they a lot of people can fake Amazon reviews um, eBay I've bought lots and lots of things on eBay that haven't worked regardless of CBD e-liquid um, so what I would say is find out who is selling that product on Amazon, on eBay. This is what I do. Research them. Research them to death. You know, find a, a re an unbiased review of not just their product, but th their product rated against other products. You know, things like that. Go on the Facebooks. Go on the, you know, go on the Twitter. Ask people who've written a comment, you know, really research it. Because otherwise, you know, if you're going to spend 60 quid on a bottle that you've seen on Amazon and it could have anything in it you know it's yes it's legal but they could put crap in it you know pesticides it could have just um, a very low quality of CBD e-liquid yeah so um, yeah so but the main thing is that I am on a boot tram patch I am chain vaping CBD liquid I feel lovely um, and I'm taking the tincture. I have fantastic sleep. Um, you know, with fibromyalgia, you never have a... When you sleep, you never feel rested when you wake up. It's one of the, um, one of the symptoms. Um, so, yes, obviously, when you wake up, you still have that... I, It's still not... Um, it's still a side fibromyalgia sleep because you're still tired when you wake up, but... I can't explain it. I have a I have a spring in my step, you know. It's I wake up and I'm I don't have to take a painkiller. I can actually get up. I can have a shower. I can do some washing up. Um and then yes, I might need to have a little, you know, I have to I have to constantly pace and take it easy because with fibromyalgia you have to do this thing called pacing. Um I still have to do that. But I can go a whole day and not take a codeine or a naproxen and that to me is just unbelievable. Yes, I know I'm still having this five milligrams of Butram patch, so I'm not saying that I'm not on, you know, I am still on pharmaceutical drugs, but uh, this this system that I'm on now, the Butram patch and the, uh, the, the vaping of the CBD e-liquid and the tincture, that combination for me personally is just it is just fantastic um i mean people i can now go in my garden without one's in my frame that is you know my neighbors have never seen me ever go in be in the garden without my arthritis stick or my zimmer frame and i can now go into the garden with my dog and i can you know yes i'm not running <laughs> i'm not you know jogging but i can walk around the garden for 10 minutes without collapsing um so i can uh, yeah it, it's i don't know what to say other than i'm not saying it will 100% work for you but it has worked for me and it is working for me and if i didn't share that with another person who's suffering with fibromyalgia or depression or arthritis or whatever if i didn't share that with you i would I would not be able to sleep at night for guilt. You know, I feel like I have to pass this information on because I've gone through this pain for two years and if I hadn't found this or if I knew somebody that was, 
you know, if I knew that this existed and nobody told me about it and I didn't find out about it, I would be, I don't know if I'd still be alive in a few years time, you know, I'd be, it would devastate me. And just to, to think that all it took was a boot tramp patch and CBD, this, you know, this beautiful, healthy, organic, um, medicinal plants and that's all it took for me to not wake up and for the first you know three to four hours be you know screaming in pain and if if that's that's all it takes for me to not have that then for fuck's sake you know I've got to share that with other people I've got to let other people know um I am worried that you know it might raise people's hopes and then it might not work for you so please you know please be aware of that, I'm not saying it will work for everybody, um, but it has worked for me, it has worked for a lot of other people, um, and as you'll see in the links below, there is a specific reason it works particularly well with people with ME and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, um, it's something to do with the can- cannabinoids in your system, I can't remember what, um, but you know, whereas, it's something to do with whereas codeine, codeine and, and um, morphine, things that are to do with your endorphins, um, when you take them, you know, it's not giving you the energy. It's, yes, yes, it's blocking your pain receptors, but it's also making you groggy. Whereas people with our illness, we need something that um, makes you feel better, but that doesn't make you extra tired because you're already exhausted. So, you know, you don't, you don't want that. Um, and that's why personally for me, you know, codeine and epoxin and... Um, all the different pills I've been given, um, they just, they just make me, it, they just make me more tired, so, yeah, it's, it's fantastic, and I, um, I urge you to, um, at least research it, and, um, yeah, at least give it a go, I'm, I'm going to, um, when I try the other products, I'm going to buy, because, oh, I forgot to say, also, um, so the, CBD Brothers tincture um, I noticed that Canavate also do a, a tincture now they do a a bottle that is a um, 30 milliliter bottle which is double the size of that so it's, it's very big and they do it for the same price as CBD Brothers a very small bottle of tincture and it, apparently it's the same amount of CBD so for 500 milligrams of CBD CBD uh, Brothers do it at the for a small bottle at the price of I think it's around fifty to sixty pounds, and Canavape do this the same amount five hundred milligrams, but they do it for um, double. You know the bottle is much 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 bigger, I think three times the size maybe, and that is uh, the same price sixty pounds, and also as I was saying the taste of um, the cannabis uh, cbd oil tincture is disgusting it, it, me personally it is vile um, and because i've quit smoking my taste buds are highly you know i can taste a lot more now so every time i take that tincture i have to quickly try and drink something to get rid of the, the flavor um but the cannabis do do that bigger bottle for cheaper um and they do it in a mint flavor now i've got a feeling that when they say mint flavor it'll still have quite a vile taste I would think but at least they're trying to mask it a little bit with mint um now I don't know why it's so much cheaper for a bigger bottle I don't know if th- that means that there's less concentrate or I don't understand all the scientific terms but I think there must be a reason it's so much cheaper for a bigger bottle um but yeah the next two products I'm going to try is going to be Canavapes bigger bottle for a cheaper price uh, tincture in mint flavor because that would be nice you know to not have to gag every time I take the tincture and also uh, I'm going to try the CBD gold um, flavorless e-liquid mixer which is a hundred milligrams I'll put the link anyway Uh, I'm going to buy three of them and I'm I'm hoping that if I buy them monthly so that's going to be like 120 pounds a month that should really cover my pain relief base it's expensive yes (laughs) Um, it's going to be all my disability benefits (laughs) down the you know gone but um you know it's worth it for me the pain relief has been fantastic um you know i can go a whole day without taking a painkiller now uh, without a pill 
and um, I can also um, usually on average I take about two cocodamol a day whereas before um, before I took CBD and had a rutron patch I was I'd say oof, oh gosh, I was overdosing a lot so um, I think I was taking maybe four naproxen a day which really you're only supposed to take I think two and I was taking uh, around probably around 20 codeine 15 milligram codeines a day um, and that still wasn't even it you know there were some days I would be totally bedridden and would be in agony and the all the painkillers would do was would be help to help me to put me to sleep so that I would wake up and not hopefully not be in as much pain um so yeah they weren't don't get me wrong they were help they were obviously helping me in they were helping in some respects they were kind of almost trying to mask the pain but now it's not masked it's more like um i'm it's like alleviated it's so hard to explain but i it's fantastic um if now i can find <laughs> a magical um medicine that also gives me my energy back and also doesn't give me a flare up um uh then you know it, i'd be able to go back to work it would be amazing but um i don't think that's ever likely to happen but anyway yeah so those are the products that's my advice and um yeah i hope i hope it benefits somebody uh and i will try those other products and i will report back and let you know if if they are better or worse than what i'm currently um taking um yeah so good luck and i do hope it does help you as much as it's helped me